The more you autocross, the more you realize tires play a huge role in how hard you can attack the course. It's pretty common to hear people autocrossing Mustangs say, I need bigger rims, or I need wider tires. While I think it's wise to learn to drive your car on the tires you have before upgrading, you'll eventually be pushing your pony hard enough to need more grip. The aftermarket offers countless options for rims and autocross tires. It can be really confusing when you're starting out. Are bigger rims better for street class? Are bigger rims legal for street class? What wider rims actually fit on my Mustang? Are staggered wheels and tires a good choice? Should I buy the best, most expensive tires when I'm a novice? This video focuses on New Edge Mustang rims and tires, but a lot of the information applies to Fox Body and SN95 Mustangs. It's not uncommon to see a Fox Body with a 5 lug conversion sporting New Edge 17 by 8 inch wheels. And most aftermarket manufacturers sell wheels that fit 94 to 04 cars. And many of those 94 to 04 rims will fit on a 5 lug converted Fox Body. There is some Fox Body fine print. 79 to 90 Mustangs have smaller fender openings than 91 to 93 cars. 79 to 86 and four-cylinder Mustang OEM struts limit wheel width to eight inches. Fitting 17x9 or 18x9 inch rims and tires larger than 255s on a Fox body can cause rubbing. So finding rims is pretty easy, but picking the right size rims and tires can be tricky. In my experience, most Mustang drivers new to autocross generally end up in street or cam class, depending on the mods they've done to their cars. Both classes require DOT tires with a UTQG treadwear rating of 200 or higher. Unless you're driving around on R comps, the tires already on your car will be fine for your first few events. Here's a lineup of wheels and tires I've used on my 2000 GT and 2004 V6. OEM 17x8 99 04 GT wheels. SVE 2000 Cobra R 18 by 9 and a halfs, and SVE S350 18 by 10s. The OEM wheels run 245 45 17 tires. The Cobra Rs run 275 35 18 and the S350s run 315 30 18s. There's a huge difference in the amount of contact patch and grip between these tires but they have a similarity that's really important. Overall tire diameter. These tires are all roughly the same diameter, which basically means height-wise they all fit in the wheel wells, and they won't throw off your speedometer calibration. We'll get to width in a minute, but rim size and overall tire diameter play a major role in a common choice autocrossers have to make. 17 inch versus 18 inch wheels. It all comes down to sidewall. A 245-45-17 tire has a larger sidewall than a 275-35-18. A taller sidewall makes the tire more likely to roll over when you drop air pressure to increase grip. That rollover is essentially a slight folding of the sidewall, which leads to diminished steering feel and slower steering response. Does that mean you have to upgrade to bigger rims and wider tires to be competitive? Well, it depends on your class. In street class, you can increase or decrease rim diameter by one inch, but you can't increase the width. And you can't have an offset of more than plus or minus seven millimeters from your OEM wheel. For a stock 94 to 04 Mustang GT, Increasing diameter means using an 18 by 8 inch rim. Some companies sell this size, but I think the better solution is to run a smaller diameter tire on your 17 by 8 inch factory rims. The 94 to 98 tri bar rims in this photo are 17 by 8 inches, just like the 99 to 04 GT wheels. You can run a 245 40 17 on 17 by 8 inch rims instead of a 245 45 17. That center number is the aspect ratio, 
it's the sidewall's percentage of the tire's width. 40% versus 45% gives you a 5% reduction in sidewall. In this example, that's half an inch. The benefit is sharper steering response and less rollover. The overall tire diameters here are 25.7 versus 24.7. So there will be an impact on your speedometer calibration and your final drive ratio. You'll get slightly better acceleration, but you'll lose some speed at the rev limiter. Opting for a smaller overall tire diameter on stock rims is a less expensive way to get more precise steering feedback from your tires. But let's say you're in cam class, where rim and tire size is unlimited. It's all about what size rims and tires can physically fit on your car. And if you really want to, you can flare your fenders and make all sorts of changes to allow for massive meets. On a 94-04 Mustang with stock fenders, 18x9 or 18x9.5 inch rims are usually easy to fit without firing up the cutting wheel. You will most likely need steering rack limiters to keep the tires from hitting the K-member and sway bar. The 2000 Cobra R wheels are 18x9.5 inches. The SVE drift wheels are 18x9. They are both wrapped in 275-35-18 BF Goodrich Rival S tires designed for a measuring rim width of 18x9.5 inches. You can see, putting them on the 18x9 inch rim cost me some section width. For every half inch wider or narrower than the measuring rim width you go on the rims, you lose or gain two tenths of an inch of section width. So, if you go with the more common 18 by 9 inch rim size, you are losing 4 tenths of an inch per axle. It's not a huge amount, but every little bit helps when it comes to grip. I know people who run 18 by 10 square with 275, 35, 18 tires to get the most section width possible. I run 315, 30, 18 tires on my cars. If you watch my fitting 315 tires on the front of a New Edge Mustang video, you can see it's a tight fit. 18 by 10 square with either tire size might not work on all Mustangs. Many aftermarket companies sell staggered wheel kits. Most have rear rims that are one or one and a half inches wider than the front rims. For autocross, you want a square setup. Staggered wheels add understeer to a car that already comes with understeer from the factory. And you can't rotate a staggered setup. When you autocross, you will have to rotate your tires frequently to make them last as long as possible. Even with negative camber, you will wear out the edges of your front tires faster than your rear tires. You will also have to flip your tires on the rims to increase tire life because the outer edges will wear out much faster than the inner edges. When I first started autocrossing, I put 18 by 9 inch rims with 300 Treadwear 275 35 18 Nitto Triple Fives on my car. They came in a kit from LMR. After one season, I put on 18 by 9 and a half inch rims with 275 35 18 Nitto NTO Fives an inexpensive 200 treadwear tire considered to be one of the worst performing tires for autocross. I chewed up two sets of NTO5s learning how to attack the course. When I got within two seconds of the fast drivers in my class, I stepped up to the BF Goodrich Rival S tires in my fourth season. Great tires cover up a lot of mistakes novices make, and they wear out fast if you overdrive them. Having a strategy for incrementally upgrading your tires will help improve your skills and save you money. If you're just starting out, use up your existing tires while you figure out if autocross is something you want to keep doing. If you're on a budget, consider using smaller diameter tires on your stock rims. When you get to the point where you need more rubber, my advice for a hassle-free setup that should fit on most 94-04 Mustangs would be to find a good light set of 18 by 9.5 inch rims with a plus 20 offset and run 275 35 18 tires. 
There's a wide range of 200 treadwear tires available in this size, and you can choose the brand that suits your driving style. And you can start off with less expensive tires and work your way up to the best tires available. If you have the time and the desire to shoehorn the 18x10 square setup on your car, it will get you more grip. But be aware that 18x10s won't fit on the front of every 94-04 car. Last but not least, tires are an ongoing expense. The biggest and best tires cost between $1,200 and $1,600 a set. That's a lot of money. Factor that in when choosing your wheels. I hope this video helped make your decision about autocross rims and tires a little easier.